Welcome back, explorers of the future. Today we are going to be talking about Elon Musk and his pet project, The Boring Company. This is a new way of transportation. It's going to change the way how we do transport services and goods into urban environment, including people, of course, and the speeds that eventually can be reached to connect cities and even countries. Welcome, my friends. You are watching the Better Future Project, where we are all about sharing positivity, knowledge, and having a good time together. So what exactly is the Boring Company? Well, the Boring Company is simply digging tunnels. <laughs> it's been established or founded at 2016, and Elon Musk had this idea of changing the way we commute. In different cities across USA, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and other places, currently the Boring Company is digging tunnels. They're actually called loops. And of course, the better part of it is that these loops can become hyperloops. We're going to talk about the differences and how actually this is going to impact the way we commute. The first thing first, once these tunnels are, are ready, that means they are all completely uh, safe. They, also, uh, they are also done under the ground. So what happens is you actually have an access to a 3D way of transportation. What I mean is like, on the roads you have 2D, you have one road, and this is where the cars are moving, and this is where all the traffic happens. But if you dig tunnels, you can have another road, and another road, and another road. So actually, you extend the surface that cars can be moved, can actually be driven, and even better, electric cars. This means we are reducing the carbon footprint and of course the speed for commute is going to shrink. Imagine if you travel from the airport to your home in minutes. This is the way how Hyperloop or Loop or the Boric company is actually trying to progress further. Now, what is the difference between the Loop and the Hyperloop? Well, the loop is simply a way of transporting uh, from one side to another side through tunnels. What happens is, is the cars are automatic, which means the speeds that can be achieved into these tunnels is 150 miles per hour. Yes, you heard that right. No traffic, 150 miles per hour. That is quite something. Definitely speed that is achievable. What is Hyperloop? Well, Hyperloop is a little bit more complicated way of improving or upgrading the loop. If you get into the environment under the in the tunnels and you actually suck the air out, you're going to have very little friction while you travel. So, into the current estimates, once this is completed and is done safely, the trains or cars or some sort of shuttles will be able to transport people, goods, services, anything that you, you, can, you can imagine into that kind of, I'll say it, shuttles with the speed of 750 miles per hour. Yes, you heard that right. So that speed will be pretty much close to what a plane is currently doing. And it's going to be on the ground, less carbon footprint, uh, less traffic, it's just high speed way of transporting between cities, even countries. Now, if this doesn't bring the world together, I don't know what else it will be. Currently, Hyperloops are in, uh, taking development into a couple of countries. So it's not just the US. We're looking into China as well and the United Emirates. Elon Musk and the vision for the groundbreaking new way of transportation is currently built by the Boring Company are endless the way we are going to be able to move and the speed we are going to be able to move with it will be incredible there are also some interesting things that Elon Musk is currently doing with his boring company and one of them is actually connected his connecting his factories sometimes to transport things between his huge gigantic gigafactories 
can take quite a while. And also the transportation between um, point A and point B can be time consuming. So what Elon Musk is actually doing is he is connecting his Gigafactory with other places and uh, factories that he's currently working with under the ground. So if he wants to transport something from one end to, from his Gigafactory to the other, this will be now done in minutes. Literally taking the loads into the Tesla car, the Tesla car goes under the ground, comes back onto the other end, transportation is done. So the efficiency of manufacturing places and factories will actually further improve, of course, if you have the technology. And we know that Elon Musk likes to link and connect anything and everything. So anything like Tesla and SpaceX will be also connected into the same way. Let's talk about the boring company and what else is it's possible. What if we look into outside the Earth? We know that Elon Musk wants to colonize the Moon, the Mars, especially the Mars. But on the Moon, they want to have like a station, like a base. So it's not more colonizing, it's more likely like a pit stop, <laughs> if I can put it that way. Well, I think the boring company can actually play a crucial role in there. Imagine that if it can build in tunnels under beneath the surface of the Moon and of course on Mars, where it's going to allow people to have a confined environment and of course stay there until they manage to um, transform, terraform Mars, uh, have oxygen and are able to go outside. We as humans, of course, that's what I'm talking. So the boring company actually have a more complications than, than this. But let's, let's, let's get back to numbers. Elon Musk is a genius in terms of making profits of these companies. And he knows how to do this into the more efficient way. And one of the ways is incredible. What he does with the materials from digging the tunnels is he is actually taking that soil. He is actually producing bricks. <laughs> yes, real bricks that are used into real building. So what he does is he sells those bricks that are actually more durable, lighter, to the building companies across US, maybe in a, in a broader as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. But what, what does this mean is that he's using the materials that are big, being dug out from the ground, sells them as bricks, and he pays for the project to continue. You think this is the end? No, because who can travel through his tunnels? Electric skates or cars. Either either, there are some ways of mixing those. We'll see how Elon Musk is going to approach the situation. But what will happen is like from point A to point B, you're going to be using an electric vehicle and he has control over it. Currently, there are 2 million people already use that tunnels to go from point A to point B. Believe it or not, the tunnels are actually very efficient and profitable. The boring company continued to scale and they will continue to make more strides. They currently from Los Angeles, Las Vegas, they're digging tunnels there, but also they're in Chicago now. <laughs> so we're going to look how this is going to grow. And the idea behind the boring company is just to be more efficient. We know Elon Musk implements efficiency and innovation into his companies. So his idea at the moment is the machine that actually dig the tunnels to be with the speed of a snail. I know it sounds slow, it sounds mundane. And even the name of the company, Boring, is actually saying to us, oh, this is a process that it just takes time and potentially you guys are right, but this process is going to alleviate and revolutionize how we transport ourselves goods and services the boring company has more behind it it's actually a part-time project that involves a lot of students who are engineers now can you imagine to go to study as an engineer and be able to start to work in a company like that where they're going to be able to achieve a crazy speed of 750 miles per hour in a tunnel 
oh my gosh this sounds scary but you can see how between couple of let's say hundreds of miles you're gonna be like traveling in like 30 minutes <laughs> or less the speeds are going to become incredible the safety is going to be incredible i don't think there will be much incidents if any into these tunnels because the way they are operating the way how secure they are it's amazing what about wildlife if we transport people and goods and services under the ground we don't kill anymore uh, wildlife outside that we currently do with our cars while we are driving onto the roads the same thing with plane you know plane has like the ability to um, speed and go quicker but that's exactly what we're going to see with the loops and hyperloops and also the plane is currently um, polluting the environment but the carbon footprint into the tunnels will be virtually zero non-existent this is huge advantage for the hyperloops and for the loops in general so the first the future how is that going to play out we will see but there are some ideas hyperloops to be done outside on the ground like literally like a train uh, um, way to travel surrounded by kind of a dome by a, a shell the air as well is sucked from inside but this this takes quite of engineering and is very expensive actually the uh, pressure uh, that needs to be achieved is causing the difficulties of, of actually manufacturing hyperloops outside onto the surface of earth but this by default you've got it in the, the ground because the way the tunnels are built from day one is actually allowing them to hold on that pressure which means if the air is sucked out the tunnels will be completely fine and the engineering behind the tunnels is allowing this to be done from day one so hopefully the boring company will continue to thrive it's going to continue to improve it's going to get better at what they're doing it's going to dig faster and they are going to have more machines and alleviate the traffic let's see how this way of transportation is going to uh, improve the times and the connections between cities and countries and once again Elon Musk is connecting the world in any possible way that you can imagine through electrification through renewable energies to his rockets and the times that you can travel between point a and point b through his loops through his future hyperloops and through neuralink he's just doing the impossible possible and bringing the world closer together thank you for joining us on this future journey it was amazing to share my thoughts on to the boring company if you like the channel and what I'm talking about, Elon Musk and his companies, and of course their competition, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you into the next video.